This is Brittany Blackwell, host of the Resilient Teacher Podcast, a proud member of the Education Podcast Network, along with this podcast. Each show on the network is independently owned, and the views expressed may not represent those of other podcasts. For the best education podcast, visit edupodcastnetwork.com. for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shannon Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology and instructional coach for my district. And I am her producer and husband, Fuzz Martin, and I bring the beakers to your speakers this week <laughs> on the Tech Tools for what? Teachers podcast. <laughs> Science! <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was special. <laughs> Thank you. Most of the time they are pretty special. They are. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, so many things. We're at episode 182. The school year is like, we're there. Yeah. Like, we're not there. But we're getting there. But we're getting there. <laughs> pretty close. Yeah. Are we there yet? I think that's more likely the question right now. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? Are we there yet? So many field trips happening. There's just so many things. So, so I, I'm saying so like a thousand times. It's weird. So there's one of our science teachers at my school recommended this site and used it all the time. And I noticed it in her classroom and I was like, what is that on your board? That looks really cool. And she's like, it's this really cool free resource that I use. I'm like, Ooh, free resource. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> and so it's cool. So the whole thing is based on the Concord Consortium is like collected all of these cool STEM and science resources. As a teacher, everything is offered for free. It's wow. free. It is so cool. Great. So you sign and you register as a teacher and you say, I'm a teacher. I'm and then not. you just have to put in there where you're from. Like, it'll ask you, like, what school you're from and district and things like that. You have to, like, be a part of a district or have a connection to a school. And then once you do, everything's available to you. And you can create a you can create classrooms where you load your students in. And then you choose the curriculum that you want to teach. And there's so many cool collections and resources. So the teacher that I work with uses it for her genetics unit and they have all these different videos and interactives with kids. And what's great is kids can work through the different pieces and it tracks what they've done and how they've answered the questions and grades it. Oh, cool. So they earn like gems and then like this kid, if they earn like four gems, it means that they got so many right. So they can work independently Yeah. and you can teach it like it's a whole curriculum. So you can teach it as a teacher and then there's all these different supplements that go with it. And they're all digital. Sure. And the kids just pulled up on their Chromebook so you can do like the video in class together and have the discussion and go through the directions like work on their stuff on their own. It's gamified, which just makes it's it just, engaging. It's so cool. So, and it, there's just so many topics from boreal forest fires to like earth science resources to evolution to genetics to hurricanes to precipitation to I can't even the tech rocks they talk about like the rocks and waters and wildfire impacts so you can choose like a collection so I just picked wildfire risk and impact it'll tell you like you can choose the 5-8 it goes from like 5-8 9-12 choose the unit lasts about a week then you can run the teacher edition which will show you like all the different pieces that the teacher is available. So as a teacher, I can pull up the lesson, like feeling hot, hot, hot. There's an introduction that goes with it. There's like slides and information that goes with it. There's an activity that goes with it and video that you show the kids gives teacher tips in there. It'll say like, watch the video. It'll give you the questions. It then gives you an exemplar. So you can see like, this is what we're looking for when the kids are answering questions. And as a teacher, you can use all of it or you can use pieces of it and you can apply what's appropriate for your students. 
This then goes to like the his wildfire history in the United States. Again, there's questions that prompt it. There's then the images that go with it, with the slides. Like there's just so many different pieces that you can, again, pick and choose what you want to show in your classroom. Then there's an activity that you can share with your students. And then you get a summary of the week. So like these are all the different pieces. These are all the different questions. This is what kids have worked through. This is what's happening. There's just so much that it offers. You can choose that. And there's like a classroom dashboard. So you can keep track of like who's doing what and what's happening. And there's just so many different ways that you can build these pieces into the classroom based on these cool, like very relevant science topics, mm -hmm. which is awesome. They also have different guides to help you out. So it's like additional information. And then they have modules. So you can like there's a pre-test and there's a post-test and you can assign or you can see the teacher edition. You can print it. There's just. Oh, like unit after unit created for you as a teacher with all kinds of really cool resources and options for students to have access to and as a teacher to build it from. Yeah, it's really cool. Good, cool. And you're like, okay. I, I can't see most of it. I know because you have to be a teacher to be as cool yeah. as all of the other teachers are. So for an example, like if I am in the middle of earth and space, you can also search by activity. So you can do like an air pollution model. You can do seismic hazards risk. You can do assessing volcanic hazards. You can do how do we feed a growing population? And then again, it'll give you the assignments. That go so like you can choose by collection. You can choose by topic. You can choose by all of these different things. And it's just a really cool resource for and, teachers. And it's free. And it's free. Like everything is free about it. That's great. Yeah. Word. How do they make this all so free? That's a great question. <laughs> they uh, love teachers, obviously. Yeah. I, mean, I should point out the website. It is learn, L E A R N dot concord, C O N C O R D yep. dot O R G. So learn dot concord dot org. So Concord is a nonprofit organization. They're based in Concord, Massachusetts, hence <sighs> Concord. I wonder if they have grapes. I wonder if they have grapes. If you tuned into the last episode, you'd know. <laughs> The grapes are a fruit, but their, <laughs> their work is to help bring technology into reality for education in science, math, and engineering. And so I'm guessing that all these, this is just is a part of their mission is mm -hmm. providing this kind of content to help support STEM education. Right. And it's awesome. Like it's just not one or two resources. It is a ginormous collection and super helpful for teachers across the board with all kinds of supports put in and resources and questions. And again, just an amazing amount of information for teachers to use and share as they need to. Yeah. So it's very cool. And I'm so glad that she pointed out to me because, because it's all aligned with NGSS, which is always the biggest piece too, which is the science standards and the practices. And it's all aligned. So you know exactly what standards go with what lesson and how to find all of that too. So I'm so glad that it was shared with me because it's a very cool resource and very helpful for many. So you should check it out. Whether you're a science teacher, math teacher, STEM teacher, I think that there's a ton of resources for so many people out there. Very good. Learn.concord.org. Yes. So cool. Yay. Very nice. I love a good resource. There we go. So thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. If you ever have any questions, you can find me on the app formerly known as Twitter. X at Smart and WI or on Threads. And if you want to get more information on the links to the technology you discussed this episode, you can visit smartandwi.com. If you'd like to support the show, please consider buying me a coffee or two. Visit buymeacoffee.com slash smartandwi or visit smartandwi.com and click on that cute little purple coffee cup. Your donations help keep this show going. New episodes each week. Thanks for listening. Go educate and innovate. The ideas and opinions expressed in this podcast and the Smart and WI website are those of the author, Shanna Martin, and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed on this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers absolutely no guarantee that these tools will work for you as described, but we hope they do. That's why we do this show. And we'll talk to you next time right here on the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast. Yeah.
Bricks.